It has been three weeks since my interview with a potential future university. I thought I would have an answer by now, but alas, all that I have is fear. Okay, let's backtrack a bit. So there are two possibilities. I get in or I don't. And I think in either way, I am going to be changed forever. In either scenario, I'm going to have to face a different kind of world. Things are going to have to change even if I'm not accepted. I can see it all in my head, the sinking feeling in my stomach, the thoughts running through my head about everything I was going to miss and everything I was going to have to face. Trying not to dwell on it too much, but having vivid images playing in my head as I try to fall asleep. And then walking around like a ghost or trying my best not to. I was supposed to leave Odie last year. And you're telling me I might have to wait even more? But why do I want to leave so badly? I love Talon. I really, really do. And yet I don't want to think about what staying means for me. I don't want that for her. She deserves the best. And at the same time, I don't actually know what is the best. I really, really don't. And then there's the other side. The more desired side. A brand new life in a country I have never even been to but I have dreamt about living there on and off for about eight years. In a way, this is me making peace with my younger self. I have a lot of negative feelings towards her, so if I could just give her this, maybe we'd get along better. And of course, there are a lot more reasons I won't get into now. And my mind has been set on this particular program, in this particular city, in this particular country for more than a year now, and whatever doubt I've had has been short-lived. But now that a possible acceptance letter is right around the corner, I just feel afraid. I am afraid to open the email and have an acceptance letter turn into rejection. But then I'm also afraid of what actual acceptance would mean for me. I am afraid of moving to a place a thousand and half kilometers away. But above all, I am afraid of not being good enough. I know that I'm great and amazing and I've proved myself over and over in the past, but maybe that self-doubt is always gonna accompany me. I felt incompetent in my first semester of my first bachelor's, but then at the end I was the only one in my course to graduate with honors. So what do I have to worry about? You're not gonna get an answer now. It's a process. This is just some word vomit before I find out in which direction I should think. Tell me what to think. Tell me what to feel. <laughs> Dear Kate, thank you for applying. We are sorry to inform you that you have not been selected for this bachelor's program. Shit. I've had some time to process this, but I can't say that I have. It feels like every day I'm waiting for a wave of sadness, anger, or just thought to come, but it never does. Today, I offer you nothing. Maybe it's gonna take longer. Or maybe I don't have to go through all five stages of grief this time. You know what they say, everything is different the second time around. I just find it bizarre how last year I applied for a master's, which took in one or two people. So like, I get it, you really had to be the best of the best there. But now I applied for another bachelor's, which took in 50 people, and I still wasn't enough. Among a bunch of high schoolers? Really? I genuinely thought I had this in the bag. That was before I started filling in the assignment form though. Then there was anyone's game. But it wasn't mine. My game was fucking great. I applied for game design. And I'm definitely not ready to quickly throw it away like I did with screenwriting, but I do not want to think about the future for now. There are plenty of options, I'll be fine. The thing is, I sincerely believe that this was supposed to happen. And I don't mean it in my silver lining in every situation kind of way. This time I'm very aware. It's very typical of me to want to go to new places, to do new things. I mean, come on, it's fun. 
But it's also easy, at least for me. It's easy to start anew. It's easy to turn a new page because nothing is written there. It's easy to leave behind a life that you mostly lived in your head. Hell, I can bring it along. But it's hard to build and to keep building, especially when your foundation is messy or when you can't bother to ask for new bricks. And then when it feels like you've made progress, someone looks at what you've done and they can't even see that you were building a house because to them it's just a sad stack of bricks. And then you start to think, maybe I needed to build with another material. Okay, I might be digging too deep now and getting off track, but everything is connected. Basically, I need to enjoy what's already there and not be so afraid of everything. But that's easier said than done. So will I actually do something or will I stay a sad sack of shh? I don't know. Hey! I'm actually filming this three weeks after the game over and nope, I still haven't been slain the house down boots.